Good afternoon. Investigators say an Albuquerque man with a history of animal abuse is back at it, this time down in Los Lunas. And once again, it was neighbors who did him in. News 13's Stephanie Chavez has the story. Kim, we first told you about Enrique Castaneda in July. His neighbor had been complaining about the way he had treated his dogs. Now his neighbors in Los Lunas have been calling animal control, saying they've been dealing with the same problems for over a year. This barking is what Chris Scales and his neighbors say they've been listening to for more than a year. They're just here barking all day long, 40 dogs going crazy. Scales says Castaneda bought the property in May of last year. Moved in, 20-25 dogs, uh, supposedly as police dogs to be trained. Uh, about two months later, he moved in 20 more puppies. But he says he hasn't seen much of Castaneda since then. Nobody's been around since he's dumped these dogs off. Uh, somebody shows up in the morning to feed them. That's all we see all day long. He tells me he and his neighbors have filed dozens of complaints about the barking, the odor, and even worse. Dead dogs on the ditch, um, people walking the ditch, came across uh, two right behind his property. Recently, Castaneda applied for a permit to run a kennel on his property so he could train police dogs. His story is that he is training dogs and selling dogs to um, local law enforcement agencies and border patrol. But at a meeting this week, the county denied his request. The entire neighborhood came out and voiced their opinions and the Planning and Zoning Commission heard him. And now Castaneda is being slapped with multiple charges, including cruelty to animals, nuisance for barking, and not getting his animals vaccinated. He's also in trouble for running an unlicensed business. He's just not keeping them clean. He's not taking care of the animals properly. Now, as of today, Castaneda has 33 dogs living on his Los Lunas property. He's expected to go to court for his most recent charges later this month. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, in September, Castaneda registered to take a pet ownership class. That was part of his sentencing for his case here in Albuquerque, which included animal cruelty charges.